Hello, everybody. Welcome to On the Bright Side. My name's Daniel, and I'm joined by Ben. Hello. And we're watching The Bad Batch. Have any fun nickname this time around, Ben? Bad Batch, as always. That's a solid one. I'm thinking The Bad Bitch. What about that? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Welcome back to The Bad Bitch, everyone. Maybe maybe we'll find The Bad Bitch this episode. You, but, you know which one I'm talking about. Spoilers, Ben. It was in the trailer, <laughs> as much as I do consider it a spoiler. It's so a spoiler. I wish they didn't put that in the trailer, it's but it was so, so hype. <laughs> if you don't know what we're talking about, good. But good. Yeah, last time, uh, there was the reunion. Reunited and it feels so good. Of the Bad Batch. <laughs> Omega reunited with Wrecker and Hunter, but that's not all. We got Crosshair back, which is... I, I just hope that they'll be nice. Make nice, please. Kiss and make up. It probably will. If you kiss a clone, is it incest? Yes. Actually, I'm pretty sure fan fictions have a word for that with clone cest. So I, I hate I hate the world. <laughs> you wouldn't fuck your clone. No. No. Teach their own. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I have no idea what we're gonna get up to now. I saw Echo in the thumbnail. Good, because we haven't seen him yet. If you guys are excited for more Bad Batch now that we're all back together, then you should do yourself a favor and subscribe and hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss a single Bad Batch reaction going forward. And let's begin in three, two, one, go! Oh god, but now this is I slapped it this time. Can't get me. I've been trained in your Jedi arts by Count Dooku. It's a new day. We got our, we got our bunny back. What is that actually? It's a creature. It's a creaker. Where Wait, are we? Cross here. Well, he wasn't in the ship when we woke up. He's Dang. Still adjusting. I'll check on him. Oh, we're here. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> My God. Greetings, Omega. <laughs> I forget. What's what's the deal with his hand? Is it just? Is it always? I, I think bad? I I think I asked that last time and i think it could be a variety of things it could be psychological Certainly but it also could be like i'm not hiding i'm training oh he's hiding i'm sure izzy could look at your hand for you i'm fine I'm, if you're, missing all your shots. you're not fine they don't trust me give it time well can but you blame you them? Talk to them not sure it was a good idea to give crosshair back his rifle Omega trusts him. That's good enough for me. That's right, Wrecker. It's Echo! Echo! Perfect. I have tabulated your Perfect. shooting accuracy. Why? Your target success rate today was at 53%. That's well not great for average. you. That's not good for anyone. What? No hug for me. <laughs> no hug for daddy. It depends how good your intel is. <laughs> He's got good intel. He's been all over the place. They were using clones <laughs> for testing. Taking samples. Even Emery wasn't allowed access. Emery. She works for Hemlock. She's another She's clone. clone. Like us. We need to know all we can before making any moves. We have Nalisa's data pad, but it isn't working anymore. Imperial encryption will be a problem. Dang. Especially without tech. <laughs> I know that I, I I'm sad too, but like the way that everyone looked down at the same time. Like dang. I know a facility. Remote. Oh. Understaffed. You say it's it shouldn't the ice be a problem planet. to infiltrate. Is it the ice planet? I am not going to risk you getting captured again. Yeah, we escaped. Where? But I leave but all those clones behind. She did so good escaping. She can help you. I should stay behind too. You're capable, but you are still a kid. I'm older than you are. <laughs> yeah, that is weird. My old armor. Nice. Yeah, it never felt right to get rid of it. They wanna, they wanna be chill with each other so bad. They gotta talk, Ben. Middle what did I say last size. time? I need a conversation to happen. Yep, that's the ice planet. Oh, the the music is the same too. Don't remind me. There's no one here. Cool. 
<laughs> Batcher is happy. Nice. I hate those fucking birds. <laughs> you said this outpost was remote, not abandoned entirely. Well, I didn't well. get daily intel briefings in my yeah. cell. <laughs> Since the giving off a high okay. frequency tone, she must be reacting to it. What are the sensors for? Perimeter detection against local raiders. You didn't think to warn us about these raiders before? Now, they were all dealt with. And how do you know that? Take a guess. Because <laughs> I did it. If you're scared, oh boy. why don't you wait on the ship? Hey, kill each other later. Thank you, Echo. But also, don't kill each other later? I said talk to him, not <laughs> him. He started it. Uh, mm, I feel like that was a pretty reasonable point of contention. Why didn't you tell us about the raiders? Yeah, help dig. Yes. Good girl. Something else is here. I yeah. don't know what. Something else is here. Either there's more raiders or we're going to have to we're going to deal with something. Uh, it's just as shitty as it was. The power to this outpost has been nearly depleted by the sensor beacons. Then we need to divert all power to this depot. On it. Uh, you may want those sensor beacons. So why the Empire abandoned this place? I guess it served its purpose. Hmm. Sounds familiar. All right, guys. Yeah, that. I forget his name. I should remember his name because I rewatched this recently. Huh. <sighs> But I do remember his character. It was... He was great. <laughs> it was a real one. Yeah, he's had a rough time. Maybe don't gang up on him? He did also bring it upon himself. He did, but I feel like... I just feel like Crosshair has suffered enough for his his crimes. Maybe, oh, I don't no. know. Oh god, why are we moving in? I'm picturing... Clone prisoners on than we the thought. worms from Dune, but on ice. <laughs> That would be real fucked up right about now. Where are you going? To check the perimeter. Well, nothing's gonna get them to come back together like facing a giant creature and avoiding death. There's more you're not telling us. And I'm done waiting. What did you do to finally get on the Empire's bad side? Betray them? Like you did with us? I mean, I did, but like... You would have been proud of me. Whatever it is, it's fucking big. Yeah. <laughs> it's, something. Uh, it's shaking this entire facility. You thought we'd take you back and not ask questions? I don't think so. Tell me what. Remember when I said that they would be chill? What happened, Crosshair? I think you said that they would. That it wouldn't be as messy as I was thinking. I killed an Imperial officer. Yeah. So yes, I did betray them. After they betrayed me. Yeah. You let Omega be taken to Tantus. She went through what she uh, did because you failed. And now the Emperor has clones. Sucks how that happened. <laughs> they couldn't have known, though. Move! Whoa! Oh, it's big. It's real big, Ben. Oh, fuck. I was like... Pretty spot on. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. There was no doubt in my mind that it was an ice worm of some sort. I just didn't know what it was gonna look like. We'll have to draw the creature beyond the sensors before they reboot, or we'll be trapped inside the perimeter with that thing. I'll handle oh it. Oh god. Not alone. We'll do it together. You sure about that? Yes. God, that's so scary. It's so fast! Oh! Oh! Rip. oh my god. Can I just say... That's a good question. <laughs> Can I just say that the snow looks so good? I feel like that's hard to animate. It is true. You could probably, like... About half of the Bad Batch episodes have some sort of giant creature. <laughs> Alright, crosshair! I think I just made it angrier. Good! Fantastic. 
about 400 meters from the perimeter. Who would ever want a base on this planet? Is the Empire stupid? Don't answer that question. You think Batcher's gonna get eaten? No, I don't think Batcher is gonna get eaten. I think Batcher is a precious bean and will not get hurt at all for the rest of the season. Oh god, he just put Batcher down. <laughs> yeah, that's what it kind of looked like. <laughs> I swear to god, Ben, if Batcher does die, I'm it's all your fault. I've I've so seen should I activate the beacon? Wait, we have to make sure the worm is past the perimeter. Where's the worm? I can't find it. It's in the tunnel with you. Oh god, that's scary. Oh, the Holy shit, is it just spinning? <gasps> Use your big boy strength. <laughs> Please! Dang, those beacons are really effective. Tell it, Batcher! Another fun Star Wars adventure. <laughs> we almost died. There you go. Now we can we can trust each other, right? See? They always work it out. <laughs> I don't even see any blood this time. Dang. progress. There's still time. I think that until we recover, we'll help you and Rick. There is. We're closer to finding and freeing those clones. I wish I could have done more to help them. You did all you could, kid. And you did exactly what you're supposed to do. Good pep talk, Echo. I feel bad for calling you the, ex the auxiliary member. I thought I knew what I was getting into with the Empire. Yeah. I thought I was being... A good soldier. Nobody really understood what was happening back then. I've made mistakes. I have regrets. This is too, this is exactly Oscar. what I wanted. <laughs> All we can do is keep trying to be better. And who knows? There just might be hope for us yet. And you know what rebellions are built on? Lies. Yes. That is the quote. Dang, our reaction to that episode is gonna end with, you know what rebellions are built on, Ben? Lies. <laughs> ben, I was quoting Rogue One. When's the last time you watched Rogue One, actually? Too long ago. I uh, watched it somewhat recently, but I, I think I've seen it three times in total. But, Ben, what'd you think of that episode? Pretty good. Yep. So, I don't know if you remember our conversation last time about this episode or about what might happen this episode but i feel like you kind of talked me out of predicting this episode pretty pretty well <laughs> i was all like i don't know i think it's going to i think they're they're going to have to talk it out it's going to be might be a little bit difficult and you were all like i don't know if it's going to be that messy i'm like fine it might not be messy maybe you know hunter's pretty accepting as a guy they did fight a bit but it could have been a lot worse. I don't know, Crosshair has had one of my favorite arcs over this show. He really did think, like, and it kind of, it makes sense, you know? You think, like, oh, this is the direction the world is moving in. So why why go against the flow, right? But Crosshair has realized the errors of his ways, and I feel like he really he really went through a lot. I kind of feel like he he's, like, you know, his time on this planet specifically, I'm glad we came back here because it's really where, where he had the worst the worst time. Yeah. So he he's 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 done his time for all the bad things that he did. I'm glad to have him back. I'm glad to see that we're all kind of we're all gonna accept him. This was definitely where the story needed to what it needed to address immediately. Um. So I'm glad it did that. What'd you think of the ice worm? Uh, it was really cool. It's interesting. I've seen a couple of concepts of how like tunneling through ice works. Uh, this is the first time I've seen just, like, rotate your heavily plated body <laughs> through the ice, you know? <laughs> For example, in, in Subnautica, there's a there's an ice worm in that. And what it does is it's, it has a horn on the front of its head that it superheats so that it just, like, melts the ice that it's going through. What else happened this episode? We got to see Echo again for the first time this season. We did. That's, that's nice. Do you think he'll stick around more? 
Uh, I think he's going to stick around for the rest of the season, probably. I hope. I, I really, you know, I think when I was talking about Echo last time and I was kind of like, eh, he's, he's kind of auxiliary. And I think the reason I say that is because he has the least unique of the personalities, I guess. Crosshair, Wrecker, and Tech are all like, they're, they're characters. Hunter and Echo kind of, weirdly enough, fill similar niches, I guess, in the team. Not like jobs, like obviously Hunter is the de facto leader, but at least in being a dad to, to Omega, you know, they both do a good job at that. I am glad, I'm glad that this, I, I we kind of talked about this last time too. I said that I hope that Omega having escaped is they're going to give her more responsibility and they tried to do the thing that they've done a couple of times and really... I'm glad they finally learned this, because whenever they were all like, no, Omega, you stay with the ship. Something goes wrong, <laughs> right? Nope. So they finally learned, no, Omega, you come with us. She she makes up for it. She can, she's capable. So I love that. I love that part of the episode. So, Crosshair's hand. That's a, that's a thing. Yeah, none, neither of us remember when it was exactly set up. I think I said last time that maybe it was just he's been battle damaged quite a bit yeah so maybe it's just that maybe it's a psychological thing maybe like you know how in avatar zuko loses his bending and that's all psychological something like that but i i have to imagine it's more physical crosshair in particular we've seen him withstand like the heat of like a venator thruster and it burned his head could have caused some more damage in his motor skills maybe or even, like, him being on this ice planet and, like, having to endure, like, a blizzard. Some frostbite. I don't know. It seems like nerve damage or something. Yeah. I would guess. I wonder if he will get a medical droid to look at it. Is that medical droid Z1? Is that his name? AZ1. AZ1. Right. Yeah. Not too much to... Too much more to say. I'm just glad that we managed to, to work it out. You know, Ben... You and I have some beef we have to work out. Yeah. And by that, I mean literal beef. Oh. Let's go get steaks. You don't like steaks, do you? Um, I need to try steak cooked different ways. <laughs> okay. Because the only one I've ever had was very tough. Oh, yeah. I mean, steak, I, I'm, I'm going to be honest, I think that steak is overrated. I don't want to... Okay. I'm going <laughs> to... Saying this is going to get people who, like, are steak connoisseurs mad at me. But a lot of steaks are really just more of a chore to eat than they're worth. Because it's just chunk of meat and you just chew it for a long time. And then by the time you're done chewing it, you got no flavor in it. What? That was how I kind of felt about the one steak that I had. Yeah. But all the steak people, people are like, what? that's because it was probably overcooked and it didn't have enough balance of fat. And I'm like, I, 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 listen, I don't control these things. <laughs> um, You're just speaking exactly my only steak experience. <laughs> I'm getting deja vu. Did we talk about food at the end of one episode before? Probably. That, that was the weirdest deja vu. Do you get deja vu often? I get it. Like, I get a deja bit. vu after hearing something, and I'm like, I've never heard that before. And then, like, I think for, like, ten seconds, I'm like, oh, wait, no, I absolutely know this. Why did I not think I knew this before? That's not really deja vu. That's just me being forgetful. <laughs> yeah, I'm more like, my brain thinks it remembers something with, like, a point zero 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 second lag after it's actually happening to me. I, and, and part of my brain's like, no, this is... This is a completely new experience to me. And the other part of it is like, no, wait, wait. Brains are weird. If you guys enjoyed our reaction to this episode, then you can let us know by leaving a like and you can comment. You can tell us what your thoughts on this episode were and you can subscribe and hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss a single Bad Batch reaction going forward. Anyway, I hope that I can make your day better and I hope that you continue to have good days. Till next time, take it easy, everyone. Have a good one. Mm -hmm.